Hi, I'm Karen. Today I'm going to show you how to remove sweat stains from clothing in Photoshop. Oftentimes when we have a photo shoot in summer and it's really hot outside, that can create some issues when it comes to editing our photos. And of course, we don't want our subjects to feel uncomfortable about anything during their photo shoot and um, we certainly don't want to point out any problems, but when it comes to editing our photos, we really want to make them look their best. So let's get to work. Here's a quick before and after of what we're going to be doing today. Now, we want to be able to preserve the texture of this shirt without just simply painting over it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create a duplicate layer of our image that we have open in Photoshop. We want to be able to make non-destructive edits and it will easily show us the before and after. Let's go up here to the rectangular marquee tool and you're going to simply draw a rectangle onto the darkest area where there is sweat. And then we're going to go over here to the adjustment layer and create an exposure adjustment. And we basically just want to play around with these sliders so that we can match the color of the darkest area to the lighter areas of the shirt. So just kind of tweak them as necessary. And once you find that right balance of the color that you're looking for in the in the sweat area, go ahead and close this box. So the next thing we need to do is select our brush tool and we are working with a mask so we want to make sure and select white as our brush color and just go ahead and brush around that rectangular box that we created and it's going to fill in the area with the same color that we already selected. I'm just speeding up here. Now if there's certain areas that don't need as much color as you started out with, just bump down your opacity a little bit and then continue to work on the rest of the areas that are darker. And once you get that mostly done to where you feel like just the edges are a little bit out of place, then we're finished with this section and we can move on to the next part. Okay, so before we move on to the next section, what we need to do is combine our layers, our top adjustment layer and our copy. So from here, let's go ahead and choose the patch tool. And we're gonna work on those edges that are kind of messy now that we can see. Just basically select a section and move it around, see what looks good. We wanna blend them together so that everything looks a little bit more um, combined and, and it meshes well. So I'm going to skip ahead and just work on all these little sections and get them to where I feel like I can't see those blatant edges anymore. Okay, so our last little leg of the journey here is to select the spot healing brush tool. And we're going to use this and just go around any remaining spots that look like they're just out of place where things don't look blended. So just kind of go through and do what you can to clean up those little areas and this is going to help bring it all together. very last step is going to be to turn off the duplicate layer so we can see it before and after. And if we're satisfied with this, then we can go ahead and flatten our image and save it. And that is it. We have our before and after. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.